Hi guys, welcome back to Dubri's Day. Today is going to be an investigative type video talking about HDMI cables. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so we invested in the UHD projector. Um, I've shown you that on my last video up here. I'll do a little link to that. Um, the problem I've got is that with the projector being up in the ceiling, so the existing projectors up here, that's the 1080p projector. Um, and then in front of me, I've got the, uh, the uh, AMP and the Xbox One X. I wanna get uh, good quality pictures from the Xbox One X to the projector that's gonna be housed up there. So I unpacked the uh, lovely new projector, which is here, and I then plugged in some HDMI cables and I got mixed responses. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes it found a source, sometimes it didn't. Um, so it started a little bit of investigation as to how and why my HDMI cables don't work. So as it currently stands, I've got a cable going through the ceiling all the way through down to my Xbox One, which is, which is down here on the floor. Um, it's there just while I'm testing this stuff out. Um, and I'll show you what actually happens in a second. I'll show you um, how using one particular cable it works, with another cable it doesn't. Um, and then I'll explain to you about my investigations and how I've actually managed to get this working. So let's get into it. So first of all guys, I wanna show you the back of the amp, just so uh, I put this into context. So here I've got the uh, Xbox One controller. That's a uh, HDMI connection going to a Blu-ray DVD connector on the back of the amp. Now that's HCP 2.2 and you'll see that's important shortly. Um, here is the output of the amp. Um, there's no cables in it currently, but this is just a standard HDMI arc connector, which normally goes um, through to the projector. Just on the back of the Xbox, to show you the rest of that, on the back of the Xbox, we've got the HDMI connector cable there. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you a standard connection from the Xbox to the projector, and I'm gonna show you with the cable that came with the Xbox One, and you'll see it works perfectly, which is great. Then I'll show you some of these cables down here. Now, this is just a bunch of cables I've got, so um, I'll just put it over here so you can see. We've got some, some standard thin HDMI cables, some of these are a meter in length. We've got some longer HDMI cables, uh, some of these are thicker, some of these are thinner. Um, and you'll see that we get completely different experiences by using different cables. Um, some of the shorter cables work, some of the shorter cables don't work, some of the longer cables work and some of them don't. Um, now I, do, I did do some reading up on this. The HDMI cable length for 4K cannot exceed eight meters for copper. Absolutely can't. I wouldn't have believed it, I would have thought, well, every time I've used an HDMI cable, it's just sending data down a piece of copper, right? So it shouldn't really matter, but it absolutely does. And I'll demonstrate that to you now. Okay guys, I wanna show you what we've got rigged up on the back of the 4K projector. So here's, here's the power cable here. And what I wanted to show you here is these two ports here, the HDMI 1, HDMI 2. The really interesting thing to note is the HDCP 2.2 connector. So to start with, I was plugging everything into HDMI 1, thinking that was the primary connector. The reality is it's not the actual connector to get 4K. You actually need the HDCP 2.2. So that was my first mistake, so please learn from that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in the Xbox um, into that port using the standard uh, Xbox connector. And we will then present it on the wall on the far side and I'll show you that that works. Then we'll then go through different cables and show you that some work and some don't. Let's do that. So just starting up with that configuration, as you can see, Xbox One's now working, it's time to start up. Um, showed you that cable that's connecting into the HDMI 2 port and everything's hokey cokey. So we know that that cable works successfully. Now what we'll also do is in the Xbox, we'll show you that it's configured um, for 4K. And the way we do that, we need to sign in. So I'll just quickly do that. And then I'm signed in. We go to the uh, settings tab there. And then in the settings tab, if we go down to display and sound, video output, you see it says 4K UHD, advanced video settings, and everything's ticked. So that's a really good cable. Let me just go in a little bit. That's a good cable, uh, 4K TV details, everything's green, so everything's supported. Now, I'm gonna try changing this around a little bit. I just wanna show you a few settings. So if I now unplug the 
existing cable and plug it into the other port, I'll show you the difference. So I don't know if you can see there guys, I just plugged it into the HDMI 1 port and what it says is no source found. I'm actually using exactly the same cable but not HDCP. So if you look on the back now, is in the other port. It doesn't work. So there's a first example of something that you gotta be considerate of. So what I'll now do guys is I will plug this cable back into the uh, second port. I'll just do that now. And watch and you'll see what happens. Searching, source found, and bang, it works. So there's the first consideration. Make sure you get it into the right port. Okay, what I wanna show you next is I'm gonna grab one of these HMI cables, just show you that. Standard cable, gold plated. I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna plug this directly into the same port and the cable doesn't work. Let me show you. So, there's the Xbox, unplug the Xbox. Plug in my cable directly into that port. So, plug this cable into the Xbox. In it goes. Back of the projector. As you can see, this is the old Xbox cable. Take that out. The other end of our new gold, wonderful HDMI port connector. Plug it straight in. Searching. As you can see, no source found. Again. And just to prove that it's the case, there's the gold cable on the back in the correct port. And that cable plugs into the back of the Xbox and it's not working. So that's just one example where a cable doesn't work. Clearly the Xbox cable does work. And why I show you is all of these cables on the floor, there's only two cables that actually work. And that cable's only about a meter and a half to two meters in length. There's nothing to do with the length on this particular one. So it's the quality of the cables that you're using for your projector. Now, my further tests show that if I connect up the cables that work in this scenario, through to the amp, then it still does not work. Now, it's something to do with how the amp sends the signal through to the projector and through or from the Xbox source and destination, but it still does not work. So how did I solve this problem? The way I solved this problem was I had to get a fiber HDMI connector. So HDMI connector at one end, HDMI connector at the other. Let me show you that. It's the ultra slim HDMI active optic cable. Now if you look here, it's Ultra HD 4K at 60 hertz, 2160p. Now this cable is not a cheap cable. Anything over eight meters, it won't work. But because of the consideration of the cables that I've got here and that they didn't work, I had no option but to get that, particularly because the distance I'm gonna be traveling. So if you wanna do this, if you wanna get a 4K projector, if it's gonna be eight meters or below, you may be okay with a decent quality copper HDMI cable. But if that doesn't work, then change the cable. If that doesn't work, then go for a fiber optic HDMI cable. I've tried that fiber optic cable and it works perfectly. And that's a 15 meter run. So that confirms that it does work. Now the other thing to be considerate of is that there's a new HDMI 2.1 standard that's just been released. Now apparently this will allow you to go up to 48 gigabits over uh, a piece of wire. Now at the moment, the 18 gigabits over either copper up to eight meters or 18 gigabits over the fiber will work. But this new standard may mean that you can go longer distances using copper and we'll find out that in the foreseeable future. If that does happen, I'll get one of those cables and give it a try. Hopefully that's been useful to you. So if you're gonna set up a 4K projector, if you're gonna use HDMI to do so, make sure you know your distances, make sure that you check the, uh, the, whether you're gonna use copper or fiber, and hopefully you'll get a decent 4K projection out of the back of it. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hope that's been useful to you, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Dubri's Day. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.